Greetings, it's the Chi Ranger here on the 29th of February. Well, recently a few of my friends have made the switch from PC operating systems to the world of Mac. And they asked me to make a video showcasing a few tips that may help them get acclimated to this new working environment. So I thought I'd take them up on that challenge and also showcase some of the recent enhancements to the Leopard operating system. Now all the things I'm going to be talking about here are mainly part of the OS 10.5 version of Mac OS. So if you don't have that and you're still running Tiger, which is 10.4, go ahead and purchase the upgrade. I think you'll be very pleased with what you see. But if you haven't done the upgrade yet, make sure you do the archive and install. So with that out of the way, let's talk about three things that should make your transition from PC to Mac so much easier. Now the first thing is actually about workflow and that I'm talking about spaces. Now, since the old days of Unix and X11, which is the Unix windowing environment, you've had multiple desktops. Now in previous versions of the Mac OS, you did not have that, but here in Leopard you do. Now by default, when you purchase a new Mac, it is turned on. However, if you are upgraded from uh, Tiger, it may not be, so you may actually have to turn on, I'll show you where in the system preferences you can do that. But the nice thing about Spaces is that it actually allows you to have multiple desktops, to have a really clean look and feel, and navigate between your different work environments. It makes things so much easier. Now to see if you have the Spaces turned on, go to your system preferences, the gear shape icon launch it and you'll bring up a window similar to this. Now going to the top row you'll see Expose and Spaces and the right tab for Spaces. You'll see if whether or not this portion right here is enabled. And you also see how many spaces you have. If that is checked you are good to go. Since we close out of that and you're ready to start playing with Spaces. Now, in most of the docs, you will find the Spaces icon, which is right here. It looks like a little window pane, and your cursor will say that it's Spaces. By pushing it, you'll see all your different desktops. Now, I have four desktops running, each one with a different programming. In this one, I have my web browser, I have Word, iMovie, and Preview over here. Simply just clicking on a desktop activates that window. But sometimes, you know, you don't want to use a mouse. You don't want to use your trackpad. That's okay. By holding the control key and the number of the window, you can actually switch between the various work panes. For example, I am currently in pane one. I can go to two, three, or four. I can go back to two, I can go to three, I can go to one etc etc. You can also use the control key and the arrow keys to navigate between them all. If you don't have the spaces in your dock you can also push the F8 key to bring up the menu as well. Now second up we are going to talk about keyboard shortcuts. Now a lot of people when they move to PC, from PC to Mac have a hard time with the Apple configuration of the actual keyboard. What do I press because I'm so used to using the PC control key in Windows? Well, in Mac, nine times out of 10, nothing really changes. The only thing that changes is that you're gonna be using the Apple or Command key, the one with the cloverleaf design on it. So if you're bolding something in your word processing document, it's Apple B. Copying, Apple C. Pasting, Apple V, etc., etc. However, there are two really fantastic keyboard shortcuts that I use all the time that I'll share with you here. And they involve deleting and emptying the trash can. I personally hate dragging stuff to the trash can. It bugs the, it bugs me. That's what it does. It really bugs me. So all you have to do is hit the command key, the Apple key, and the backspace key. And that will automatically move whatever you selected into the trash can. Now when you're ready to finally delete the trash can, instead of going up to the main menu, what you can actually do is hold down 
the Apple key, the Shift key, and the Backspace, and that will automatically delete the trash bin. It's fantastic. It's a huge time saver. I love it. And finally, one of the probably sticking points for a lot of people when they come to Mac is the fact that the Mac mouse only has one button. Now, you may be thinking, oh, that's no big deal, but if you are, have been using a PC for years, you really rely on that right click. Now, in the Mac operating system, they call the right click the secondary click. And if you're using a mouse, such as this wireless mouse here, what you need to do is actually hold down the control key and click, and it will bring up your right click or secondary click menu. However, if you're using a laptop, you have a very cool alternative. By going into System Preferences, you can actually turn on the secondary click features of your trackpad, and by pushing or by holding two fingers on the trackpad and then clicking the button, you actually bring up the secondary click menu. It's really cool. It's, it saves a lot of time. Or you can use one finger and again hold down the control key and click. Uh, if you use a trackpad, you can use your two fingers to scroll up and down or to the uh, left and right. All right, there are your Mac tips for today. We'll catch you later.